Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be teaching you the time stutter glitch effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. So this So this effect is actually fairly simple. It kind of has the same characteristics as a flicker effect or, you know, strobe light effect. And I'd recommend using this effect only in fast paced videos with fast paced music. Like I said, it's very similar to the flicker effect. You wouldn't use a flicker effect in like a country song, you know, music video. You would use it in a rap or hip hop music video where the environment is a lot faster, fast paced, where the shutter speed's higher. And you also want the music to fit as well because if the music is slow and the effect is very fast, then it doesn't look really good. So I got my music from Epidemic Music. Um, uh, it's in the description. This is not sponsored. I actually use their music for basically all my uh, client work. And so I found a nice, you know, remix and you can hear the hi-hats and they occur very quickly. So I thought it would fit with the effect. So if I just play it right here, so that you can hear that. So where you hear the clicking sounds, you can um, add the effect. So it starts right here. I'm going to press M so I know, or you can just right click and press add marker. And then when it ends, it ends somewhere around here, so press M again. Now what you want to do is make some cuts with the razor tool. So you want to press C and let's just start from here. We want to press the right arrow key once to move one frame, then move the right arrow key twice and now two frames and move it once again and one frame. So basically you cut at one frame. So this one frame and then you cut at two frames and then you cut at one frame again. And essentially what you do is just delete and then you move the remaining clip right here. So what happens is there's a normal clip and then it just skips time. She goes from here to here in a matter of one frame. And what you want to do is select these two frames and just duplicate them a bunch of times for however long the music lasts for. So the hi-hats or whatever. So if we just highlight and then hold alt and then drag, hold alt and drag, you can see what happens. So it actually ends here, it didn't end right here. That would be too short anyways, uh, but it ends around here. Um, so now we can just duplicate until this point. So duplicate again, hold alt and drag. And right here, as you can see, there's not enough for two. So we're just gonna duplicate this one because it repeats in a pattern, obviously. So if you press play here, it repeats a bunch and then it goes back to normal. However, to make this effect look a bit better, you want to just drag this up onto a different track and just stretch it a couple frames so that it starts at an earlier position and now drag it to the bottom again. So here, if you just go down a lot, you can see what happens. So what this part does is basically transition from the effect into the clip again. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you out. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.